All right, so we're gonna do photo story. Uh, we're just gonna take you through the very, very basics of it, importing your pictures and organizing them. So let's get started. Go down to your start menu. Photo story right there is in my top start menu. It also could be on your desktop depending on where you guys saved it. I'm gonna click photo story. Great, we're gonna begin a new story. It's already selected. Next, I'm going to import my pictures. This automatically brings me to the pictures I want. Um, you would have to search wherever your pictures are. Mine happen to be under the desktop, under Casa Stuff, that's highlighted. Great. So then I'm gonna click my first picture. I'm gonna hold down Control, and then click all my other pictures. This way I can import all of them at once. So by holding Control. Great, they've all been selected. I can take off Control and hit OK. It's gonna import them. And then I want to change the order of them. So this picture right now is showing up last. I want to change it. Right over here to the right, there's some arrows. One of them is not highlighted, then one arrow is, and then the X. That way I get, the X deletes my picture. Uh, the arrow puts it in the order I want. I want this picture to be first. So I'm going to go ahead and move it over till it's the first picture. This picture, I'm okay with being second. This one, I'm not ready for it yet. Let's push it back. Um, that one's fine. That one's good too. This one I want to move though, so let's put it where I want it. So then I look down here at my little preview and see how it goes. That is exactly how I want it. All right, so now they are in the order that I want. I can go here and I could edit them. This one is a quick edit. It allows you to change the color. I don't like the way it changes it. It also allows you to remove red eye, but as you can see, there are no red eye in this picture. It also lets you rotate it. I don't want it rotated. I like how it is. Um, if you click the edit, it gives you a lot of other options. This is rotate and crop. So if I wanted to crop the picture, I don't. Auto fix, it already gave me that option. And then add effect. This allows me to uh, change the colors, you know, make it cool you know, special effects. I don't want any for this picture. So this is exactly how I want it. I'm going to go ahead and save it, even though I didn't change anything, and then close. This picture I do want to change. I definitely want to crop it. So let's go into edit. We're going to crop. That looks about right. Give it just a little bit. I know it's going to move. So there we go. That's how I want it cropped. Save it. And Let's change the color. I like that. It gives us a little more richness. I'm going to add an effect. Uh, diffused Glow. I like that one a lot. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then close my editor. This picture I would also like to crop. You know, cut out that extra person. Crop. Up. Move it. Get in there. I don't want him in there though. So let's scoot it. And move it. I guess we can get his nose. That's all right with me. I'm going to add an effect to this one too. Um, it, the, I don't really like the color. I'm going to change it to sepia. I know that's weird because now it's all the same color, but because it's sepia, I like it better. I'm going to go ahead and save and close. This one is cool. Um, I do want to change some things. I want to make it more fun under effect again, under my edit. I'm going to make it watercolor. I just think that makes it cool. Save. Let's say I saved it and I didn't want to do it. I could reset. It puts it right back to normal. So if I hit that one, it's like, ah, oh no, I hit the wrong thing. You can just reset. puts it right back. But I do want this one to be watercolor. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Close. Um, that one I like. That one I like. And that one I like. So there we go. I am okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and save my project because I've made some edits. Save project. I like to save things on the desktop because it's the easiest place for me to find them. I'm going to call this Photo Story Test Basics. Um, edit Organize. Then I know what exactly I did in this one. So now I've saved it. I'm going to hit Next. At this point, you could type in text to add on to your pictures. I'm not going to do that right now. There'll be another tutorial for that. So I'm just going to hit next. 
This is where you could record audio narration to your pictures. I'm not going to do that right now. We'll do it another one. Next, this is also a place where you could do music. You could select music from your computer or you could create your own music. It gives you you know, areas to play in. Um, we're not going to do that though, so I'm just going to cancel and hit next. And this is the last step. Right here is where it allows you to, um, where exactly is this going to save? So I'm going to save it onto my computer so I can just watch it on my computer. It's the easiest place you can do anything as long as it's on your computer. So I would highly suggest this is where you save it. It defaults to where we've already been saving it right over here on the desktop. So we don't need to change anything. So I'm going to hit next because everything looks good. And then it's just going to take a minute to save. This is your final completed photo story window. You can view your story. You can create another story. You can exit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save just to be sure. It's asking me if I want to replace it. Yes, I do want to replace because if I've made any changes, um, I want to replace the old version with the new version. So always hit yes. I just want to view my story to make sure I did it right. Click view story. Windows Media Player comes up. And it just gives you a little preview of what we did. So first picture, zoom in, zoom out. I like that diffuse glow. It looks very pretty. And you just can watch and see. Make note, you know, make, if there's any changes you want, it's not going to be hard to change. So I kind of like things, you know. Oh, maybe I do want to crop that one. It seems a little bigger. I like that. And then the nice ending note. So that's my story. I like it. I think it's great. I'm going to go ahead and close this because I don't need it open. And I liked it. So I'm going to save once again. And I, you don't even need to. I just do it better safe than sorry. Always save and then exit and you're done.